everyone, I'm Shanice. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm here with episode 8 of The Legend of Vox Machina. So, our crew is split up. Grog, Scanlan, and Pike are on their way to find someone who can heal Grog, what he has going on with his situation. Because before he was all brawly, big, and fit. <clears throat> but now he's really skinny. He's frail. He doesn't know what to do. He just feels so helpless. So, I think at the end of the episode, they um got to this cabin and the other half of our crew percy uh keyleth vex and vax are in the fey realm they're on the way to try to get this bow that scanlan saw in his vision and they came across this fawn like creature who is very inappropriate drawing disgusting well not disgusting just inappropriate things of the crew but he decided to guide them on their way to the tree that contains the bow. But unfortunately, all of a sudden, this city appeared. And it ends up being the home of Vex and Vax, where their father lives, who they had a, you know, falling out with. And they ended up leaving their home. So we're going to dive into this episode. And yeah, let's just jump in. But how can a city just teleport to the Fey Realm? In times of danger, the elven nobility of arcane means of moving it. Arcane! When is the next season dropping? Oh my goodness. It looks like the same weaponry from the elves from the Lord of the Rings. More than I remember. We're almost through. Just a few more blocks and we're... State your names and... We seek an audience with Ambassador Vassar. Uh, where is children? Be honest. Do I look like I come from nobility? <laughs> I've known many people with money and titles. They're definitely not worth you. Aww. You haven't met Valori yet. Our daughter. Uh, sister. Oh, stepsister? Okay. Hi! But father said you'd never come back. Uh, well, we here yes, now. <laughs> Perhaps I would have been had you notified me you'd be gracing us with your presence. Why are you so salty towards your children? Anyone else? Pop, pop! It's me, Pike. Hi. What? Oh, it's you, Pike. What? Look at you, dear. Real vestments. Oh, you're so. Cute. Okay, why did they show that shot this from her chest my going my upward? Father. We'll We've been amassing arms and training our soldiers to confront the dragons. So you plan to join the fight? Why are you here? To dispatch the very dragons that chased you away, sir. And you are? Percival Frederick Stein von Musokolowski de Rolla III of the Royal Gosh, House of Whitestone. Gosh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> We've come for an ancient weapon set to lie in the Shade Merc. The Finthris bow. Legends say it fires arrows strong enough to wound a titan. You want to chase a fleeting rumor into a desolate waste. It's not a rumor, though. That bow could be the... You needn't spin false tales of their exploits. The very idea of Vaxildan and Vexalia standing up for the greater good is... Well... Rich. Yo, take that drink and chuck it in his face. Prank. Oh, it's fine. No harm intended. But he just said... It's fine. I'm like, we were just Thank passing you, through anyway. Fire. Of course. It's the least I can do for family. Are we your family the way you've been acting? Ain't going down the front side flapper trap. Oh. Oh, Wait, but... my goodness. Uh, Y'all uh, gotta I, shove I it. I gotta work both ends. Oh! Avert your eyes. Everlight, protect Grog. That's a and big thingy. Friends, wherever they are. <laughs> Oh, why does it have to go in that end? <laughs> Lady Vexalia, Baroness of the Third House of Whitestone and Grand Mistress of the Grey Hunt. Title. Oh, he's is that like an engagement or something? We came here seeking aid. Yeah, stand up for your man. Then prove me wrong. Show me that bow, and I will give you the welcome you think you deserve. I think I deserve. We're leaving. Oh. What does? Me? <laughs> 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 the mom's face was like. <gasps> <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 
No one other than my brother has ever stood up for me like that. Mm -hmm. How long have they been like a crew? I never thought of that. How long they've been together? How did they meet up? It's up here. I made something for you. <laughs> it's wonderful. The Shade Mark is home to a cursed archfiend named Sondor, but as long as you don't submit to his voice, his sadness won't turn you. Well, your body's gonna need a kickstart. Some significant stimulation. I gotta stimulate myself? Okay. So oh my goodness. Oh, it's oh, deep. Oh. Don't go into the mouth because she's always seeking her father's approval, like Osea said. All the bows in there. You need to get your nails clipped. My Vexalia. You can rise above your trembling destiny. Come on, Vash. You got the, the armor for the Matron of Ravens. The bow. So you just gonna give it to her? It's not that easy. I can fix you, make you whole again, and all I need from you is, is your heart. My heart is someone else's. Is it Percy? You need me. No, you need you her. Could never give me what I need. Oh. Oh, oh, see, God, some guys cannot handle rejection. You was talking all that stuff a minute ago. Oh, Lord, the moment she turned you down. We got evil groups. Come on, Keyleth, you could do something. Burn it. Dang. She, I don't think anybody could top Legolas, but she comes close. She's shooting arrows from like upside down. Definitely better than Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> hey! Let's go, Keyleth. Ooh! Did she do the Jay Z sign? Ooh! She went through a portal through him. Oh! Oh! Keyleth always comes through. If she could do that with fire, imagine water and earth. Let her go, dude. Oh, she opened up his chest. It shoots fire, lightning. Oh my god. Or take his heart out of her. Oh, the thing for my life. He, uh, shove it in there. Bye bye. Yay. Now you really have unlimited bows. <laughs> I mean, arrows. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not ready. I don't think I can talk to him again. He is who he's always been. I know. And so am I. He could open portals this whole time. Why did you disguise yourself? Why did you disguise yourself as that perverted? Uh, so ill, so that means. Oh lord. That means he was. Show me something. You're fair and western. I know who has them. What's wrong? Those gauntlets belong to my uncle. He killed me with them. What? No, 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 no. I do not want to see episode nine. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. My battery is dying. It's getting dark. But okay. This episode. Oh, 
this episode definitely picked up compared to the last one because if you didn't know I didn't really like the previous episode episode 7 um I'm gonna be honest I don't really like this storyline with Grog so far with him losing like his physical strength like that I don't know it's just not really intriguing to me I don't really like where at least Grog's storyline is um but I really like this episode I liked how you know um vets shouldn't really depend on her father's approval to feel like valuable and worthy I like how we're kind of developing more of her and Percy's you know interest for one another the very thing that he gave her ended up saving her in the end the little arrowhead to take out Sandor um what else what else I well they have a new little baby sister now um eventually they may end up returning to Singorn um Pike OP as usual and yeah so um that's it I'm sorry I wanted to delve in a little bit more but I'm losing lighting my battery's about to die and I'm pretty sure you want to watch other creators uh videos so I do want to mention that I've made the decision that I'm gonna upload how I used to do when I first came on YouTube every Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays because doing this every day even though like I don't upload like record and upload all within the same day i mean today i'm recording editing and uploading usually i do videos ahead of time um doing this every day i just feel like it becomes overwhelming and then i start to get bun burnt out or frustrated with the performance of my channel so i feel my channel needs some structure so i'm going back to the og the old days and uploading mondays wednesdays and fridays I'm thinking about uploading at a set time too because I feel when I upload randomly it I can never detect when is the best time to post I know some of you guys are gonna say check the analytics I used to be posting when the analytics tell me and that's when my views would be terrible so YouTube analytics does not work it does not help me so I think I do realize that at least between 5 and 9 or 10 o'clock is the sweet spot for my personal channel so please comment down below when you are active on YouTube and when you tune into my videos and I'll probably upload around that time but thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new comment down below I do check the comment section and you will see me in the next video and also turn on your post notifications Oh my gosh, do I have to, like, I wish I could jump through the screen and do it for you. Turn on your post notifications and you will see me in the next video. Bye guys.